So wood is a common heat source, but here at Tobacco University, we're gonna look at using wood to heat a cannabis grow facility. So if you wanna use wood to heat your grow facility, let's go over some of the details with that and considerations you should be making. So first off, wood heat just in general. Wood is relatively inexpensive as forest residue, mill waste, chips, or even as sawdust. Often the cost is driven more by the transportation and handling than the actual product. And this could be dependent on location as well. A lot of times people are using wood heat to heat their houses, so it is, again, a very common form of heat source. Uh, wood versus oil, so looking at kind of the comparison between the two here. Fuel oil requirement for about uh, 20,000 square feet of greenhouse space located in Connecticut would be about 20,000 gallons for the heating season. If wood is substituted as a fuel source, this would require a hundred and approximately 110 cords of hardwood. This means that handling about 220 tons if the furnace was fired by hand. So that's again an important consideration when we're looking at how we're going to be utilizing uh, the wood. There's going to be a manual loading type. The cost of the wood is only $6,000 delivered in log length compared to the $35,000 for the estimated oil cost. Now keep in mind that log length is not nice chopped up and kind of ready to go as the picture shows above me. The difference is enough to have reasonable payback for the equipment and to pay uh, for what's called a night fireman, someone who has to constantly feed that fire and keep it going for the duration of the night when it is the coldest. So again, all these have to be taken into consideration. However, when we're looking at wood, we also want to be considerate of the moisture content. Furnaces and boilers that burn uh, cordwood or chips and sawdust are available. The heat value of the fuel depends on the moisture content. So for example, green whole tree chips have a heat value of about 8 million BTUs per ton. Dried chips have a heat value of 14 million BTUs per ton. So that redu reduction in moisture content really increases the BTUs or the British thermal units of that wood that it can provide. If the wood is burned at high temperatures, more than 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit, very little smoke or pollution occurs. That's another important consideration. If you can get that heat high enough, you can have a very clean burning with your wood. Again, that wood could be relatively low cost, but there are going to be that associated night firemen, that manual feeding, that low moisture content taken into consideration, as well as the having enough supply uh, for your area, depending on how cold that season may be.